Hi, I'm Cade Bushnell. I'm from northern Illinois, the very top third of, I, well, I'm actually about 40 miles from Wisconsin, right in the center of the state, small town, Stillman Valley, Illinois. Um, I've been involved in precision since uh, deer came out with the uh, first yield monitor on their combines, and I just happened to buy one the year after they came out with all this newfangled stuff and got it on the combine. It was uh, it was a good thing to start with. I'm not sure the yield monitors made me as much money as some of the other things. I currently run RTK. I run a RTK base station. I run a GS3 monitor, a 2630, a 2600 monitor. I run the 3000 domes and I run um, radios on those and I also run passive implement control on the planner. Um, by far and away the best investment I've made in precision has been swathing because it just saves a ton of money, especially on the planner. I don't do anything in the field unless it's got GPS on it where I can document what I'm doing because I'm, I'm not a very good record keeper and I used to keep my records in, you know, seed corn book and where my varieties were and yeah, I washed it several times. Uh, I do my own laundry and I'm the one who washed it so I couldn't yell on anybody but I totally destroyed it and that's what really started me out was understanding what I'm doing and where. Uh, yield mapping has paid but it's paid in a different way. It doesn't really pay in savings. What it's paid in is it's made me more aware of the yield variability in my fields. It's made me a better manager. So now I can actually try things in the field and do different things, whether it be strip till versus pure no-till, and I can actually get a pretty good yield map out of that. I use not only deer system, but I use yield sense. I also use a lot of precision equipment, the precision planning. I use the 2020 monitor. I'm a firm believer in those. Sometimes I wonder if it has a direct payback but I think the real payback in some of this is it makes you more aware of what you're doing. And that awareness makes you a better farmer. Um, auto steer has been the one thing I've struggled to really come at with a, a payback. But one of the paybacks that most people don't think about is I get a lot of high school students that like to come out and run a tractor. And they're not terribly skilled although the ones I have now are very good and they do a very good job. They adapt very quickly to the monitors and they have good success with it. And one of the things about kids and tractors and planning is if they aren't good at it, they don't want to do it again. So I have good success at getting the kids who come out to ride in the tractor and to operate the tractor and they come back year after year. And I do enjoy having kids around the farm. It's really nice. My kids have kind of grown up and left, but hopefully they'll come back sometime. <laughs> Dealer support is everything. In fact, we talked a little bit earlier. I've got an Omnistar mono, uh, dome that is no longer functioning and it's my, I keep it here at the shop. My, I don't keep the cleanest shop, but it's a shop and it's a warm place to work. Uh, I keep it here at the shop because it reminds me how much, how important dealer support is because I bought that and it was expensive at the time, but it's a non-functioning because they changed the programming and they broadcast the data out of the satellites differently than they used to and that wasn't able to be upgraded. So what I like about whether I don't care whether who you're working with, whether it's deer, I just happen to work with deer, work with a major player in the market because the worst thing you can do is to throw stuff away. I mean it's just for me it's kind of a deal breaker when I have to start throwing a dome away because it's no longer usable it's crazy so you want to work with a dealer who's going to be in business not only just a dealer but the manufacturer who's going to be in business whether it be ag leader or whoever it is you want to work with a major player because they will support you. And you need to go to the dealer too and look at what the dealer has to offer.